London 2017 bronze winner and Team USA star Paul Chelimo is preparing to chase his first world title in Doha. The 2016 Olympics men's 5,000 meter silver medalist is among many foreign distance runners who have set base at high altitude training camps in Kenya ahead of the forthcoming IAAF track and field showpiece in Qatar. CGTN's Mohamed Abu Bakar caught up with Chelimo in Iten and filed this report. The town of Iten in Kenya is known for producing some of the finest Kenyan athletes. Kenyan-born American Paul Chelimo is back in the country as he continues his preparations for the 2019 World Championships in Doha. The American runner won bronze in the 5,000-meter men's final at the 2017 World Athletics Championship and has since then worked on improving his chances for winning the gold this year. One thing I've realized, I need to build, I need to build strength uh, because so I'm prepared when the race goes slow, I'm ready for it. When it goes fast, I'm ready for it. But uh, now the point that I'm in is it's, I'm in the fitness that I wanted to be in and preparation has been well underway. It's been a long year. You know, I started the year with strength. Now I'm, I'm turning down to speed and speed endurance. Chelimo, who is the current USA men's 5,000 meter champion, is holding his training camp with fellow Kenyan born Americans in Kenya. I would say the weather is amazing. You know, like it's a uh, it's, it's conducive environment to train, I would say. Uh, food, you know, the food is good. Everything I eat is organic. And also, it's good to come back to where it, start, it all started, you know. Altitude is the main factor over here. The elevation in the tent is very fantastic. You, you just come here, stay for like a month, and you're ready to go. You know, I stay in the U.S. for like three months, still I don't feel ready. So it's always a good place to come and sharpen up towards the big meets like the World Championship or the Olympics. In the 2017 men's 5,000 meter final in London, Chelimo finished third behind winner Mukhtar Edris of Ethiopia and Britain's Mo Farah who came in second. He is still wary of Ethiopia's threat this year, but insists his learning progress since 2017 will help him handle the pressure better this time round. I already prepared for the season and I was only thinking about that one race, which is the World Championships. So, I mean, I think I'm growing professional-wise and um, I'm learning, you know, you don't need to go fast in every other race. You just need to go fast when it's really important. So, I think World Championships is the time that I need to go fast this year and uh, just finish the year strong because that's that's the most important. That's the biggest championship this year. Paul and his compatriots running for the Stars and Stripes of the United States will hope that their final preparations here at the high altitudes of the Great Rift Valley region in Kenya will give them an added advantage against their competitors as they push for triumph at the 2019 World Championships. Mohamed Abubakar for CGTN, Iten, Kenya.